Hey everyone, Jessica Kubesi here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a visco film effect on your pictures. So something really old, vintage looking. Uh, it's really easy to do and I'm going to jump right in by first desaturating this image. So I'm going to go on over to layer, new adjustment layer, and then vibrance. And we're just going to decrease it to about negative six. I don't want to do anything too drastic. I usually decrease my pictures just to get a good base. So the next thing that I want to do is layer, new adjustment layer, and levels. And I'm getting ahead of myself here. Okay. So this is really where it's going to create our base for that vintage looking effect. Now I want to set the structure of this by just adding a little bit of contrast. You're going to see why I'm doing this. First I'm going to set the blacks to an 18. And then I'm going to lower this just slightly to about 93 and I'm going to pull the whites in very slightly. And right now what you're going to see is like a contrasted sort of look. Now what we want is a more vintage look. So what I'm going to do is go on over to the output levels and this is where it's going to change the entire look. So I'm going to slide this white over to about 237. And as you can see, the further that I slide it down, it's decreasing all the weight from the photo. And this is really going to help with our base. And the next thing that we're going to do is go from RGB to blue. And I'm going to make slight changes. I'm lowering the blacks. So I'm just adding a little bit of color from the levels. And I'm going to set this to 91. As you can see, if I slide it up, it's a little bit more blue. I slide it down, it's a little bit more yellow. So I'm going to do 0 0.91. And then I'm going to leave the white as is. And then I'm going to go down to the output levels. And this time we're sliding the black to about 20. And then we're going to just slightly do 253 and let me show you the difference that that made it really gives us a good base and it's nothing too crazy to begin with but I'm going to show you um, it's through other through more than one layer that you achieve this look so the next thing that we're going to do is go to layer new adjustment layer and then curves and I'm going to start with the RGB layer and I'm just making a couple of points And you don't want to do too much to the curves layer. I think that looks pretty good. So this is just the RGB layer that we're changing up. And I want to make it a little bit more curved here. And then we're going to go from RGB to green. We're going to skip over, skip over red. Red's not going to get any attention today. Okay, here we go, and the green curve. It's really hard to get this exact. Like, I struggle to, to get this exactly how I had it before. Okay, that's looking pretty. Wow, that looks hipster already. We're in the 1970s, maybe? I don't know. You guys can uh, pick which era you'd like this photo to be in. And the last one we're going to do is blue. And we're just going to drag this up a little and then drag this down. And as you can see, with each point, we are changing up all the colors. So for instance, the blues, I put this more to the side. You can see it's becoming a little bit more yellow, whereas if I go upwards, more blue. So yellow, blue. And if you want to play around with the colors, I would just recommend do slight adjustments in Photoshop. But see, those slight adjustments created this subtle color, which is what I wanted. The next thing I want to do is go to exposure, so layer, new adjustment layer, and then exposure. And we're keeping the, expo the actual exposure the same. And we're just going to make a very subtle change to the offset. That looks great. And then the gamma correction. There we go. 
And then another thing we're gonna do is layer new fill layer and then solid color. And I'm gonna pick a grayish color. I'm gonna show you what this does. And you just press enter, you fill the color fill layer and then you go on over to exclusion. And you could do so much with this layer. Okay, obviously you don't wanna do this. Like lower the opacity, you guys. Okay. So you want to do it very, very slightly. The trick to this kind of look is to do, again, slight adjustment layers. So one other thing you could do is you could double click this after you've set it to exclusion and go to each different color, like try out different colors and see what kind of effect that gives you. For instance, what I used to do is get like a pale purple color and then I would higher the exclusion up and that makes it look even more dusty. Like it just, the, this picture aged like 20 years right, right now. So just depending on the look you're going for, play with this layer, add different colors, experiment. That's really how you're going to achieve the look, like different types of looks. And the very last thing that I wanna do is go to layer, new adjustment layer. Everything's a new adjustment layer. And then selective color. And one thing that I love to do is select the greens and desaturate them because nothing is more hipster than making the the trees and the in the grass a color that it's not naturally. So yeah, we're just gonna lower the yellow and just go to the greens and just go back and forth with everything. Usually what I'll do is I'll, I'll honestly just toggle with the yellow. Um, don't really use too much cyan, but yellow is where it's at and it will make a very subtle change, but it still looks good. And you can go to the yellow as well and toggle that. Yellow is also a good layer to use. I honestly just experiment with each color, so that's what I would recommend you to do. Very, 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 very last thing. Let's say you wanna be you want this to be extra, extra, extra dusty. You want that noise. You want that green. This is what you do. You get a new raster layer. You make it and then you fill it up with some black. And then you go to filter, noise, add noise. And I think this is gonna look pretty good. Monochromatic and then Gaussian, we're gonna keep that. And I like how it is already the amount of noise. You can adjust this if you want it, if you want to be really dramatic, I guess. We're going to go from normal to you can do soft light. You can do screen. Screen is really going to make it look like I mean, you just forgot about this picture for 50 years. Like it was a part of like Rose threw it in with her necklace at, at the end of Titanic. She threw this picture in. So I'm just gonna lower this opacity just a little bit, just a little bit of added noise. And there you have it. Wow. I love how I say wow to my own tutorial. Like, okay, it's, I'm pretty nerdy. Okay, so that is, that's it, you guys. Let me show you a before and after. So this is before and that's after. And I'll zoom in so you guys can see a little better. Because no one's seen the Eiffel Tower before. So this is, yeah, so. That is before and that's after. Hope you guys thought this was helpful. Let me know if you have any other suggestions for future tutorials. And as always, thank you so much for watching.